You want me to throw it in the water? Rex Azinge used to love to swim as a kid, but now at the age of 39, he has to summon up all his courage just to get in the water. One day when he was 21, Azinge was horsing around a pool with some friends. Somebody pushed me and I panicked and um, I went all the way to the bottom and hit my head and then before I came up and ever since then I've just been um, scared and, um, and tensed up whenever I get in the water. The problem is Azinge is a petty officer first class in the Navy and if he wants to advance in his career, he needs to get comfortable in the water. So Azinge has come to this pool in La Jolla to learn how to swim all over again. Azinge gets in the shallow end of the pool and puts on a flotation belt. Then swim coach Chris Holly takes him through the paces. Yeah, one arm over another, straight up, elbows at the biceps, elbows locked. Holly was a competitive swimmer in high school and college. A few years ago, he started training for triathlons. At an open water swim group, Holly noticed that most of his fellow triathletes looked like they had learned how to swim from reading a book. Everybody was very analytical and they had a lot of uh, kind of hang-ups instead of being nice and fluid in the water. So I happened to see an adult learn to swim certification course come through my email through U.S. Masters Swimming and I thought, you know, I got to jump on this. Holly got his certification and eventually found his calling, giving private lessons to adults who want to learn how to swim. He says the key to teaching adults is to get them to relax. And I always tell them, you know, just like Bruce Lee said, be like water. The more relaxed that you are in the water, it's, it, the more you're gonna move and feel better and you're gonna stay afloat. That may have worked for Bruce Lee, but it's not easy to do. So Holly starts his students out with the basics. They stand in the shallow end of the pool and grab onto the side. We're going to now inhale above the water and exhale underneath the water. Four. Five. U.S. Masters Swimming representative Misty Hyman started swimming competitively when she was five and won a gold medal in the 200-meter butterfly in the 2000 Olympics. These days, Hyman is a senior assistant coach for the Arizona State University swim team. A lot of focus is placed on teaching young kids to swim and preventing drowning, which I think is so important. But I think the people that grow up and maybe haven't learned to swim, they slip through the cracks and they don't know that there are resources available to help them. Chris Hawley says in as few as six lessons, he can take someone who's deathly afraid of the water and teach them to swim across the deep end of a pool. I had a lady recently do that, and when she got across to the other side, she looks, she goes, I'm proud of myself, my family would be proud of myself, because she's the only one in her family who learned to swim. And she started to cry a little bit. And as an instructor, that's really what it's all about. You have just impacted their life for the rest of their life. The Centers for Disease Control says every day in the U.S., 10 people drown, one student at a time. Holly is trying to make a dent in that statistic. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS, 